Firstly, launch App Store on your iPhone and download this free app, GarageBand. This app is made by Apple and it is free to install. Now let's launch this app. Now here type on this plus sign. Now select audio recorder. Now here tap on this three broken lines. Now here firstly you want to tap on this blue triangle. Now go ahead and tap on this plus button on the top right corner. Now tap on section A. Now here make sure that this automatic toggle is off. And then change this number to 12. Why 12? Because these are not seconds, these are bars and 12 bars are roughly equivalent to 30 seconds and you cannot make ringtone beyond that. So you have to make sure you set the number to number 12. Now tap outside to close this pop-up. Now you want to tap on this circular loop icon on the top right corner. Now here select music. Now select songs. Now understand that you need to add song from your iTunes so that it can appear in GarageBand and you can make a ringtone. Now if you don't want to use iTunes at all, there is a separate tutorial in the cards as well as in the description below. You can check out that tutorial. That tutorial will teach you how to use any song on the internet and make a ringtone for your iPhone. Also that tutorial will help you if you don't find this music or songs option or the circular loop icon inside GarageBand. Now select the song that you want to make ringtone from. So simply tap on the song, hold it and drag it over this empty area. That's all. Now you can tap on the song and use these handles to edit the song. You must tap and hold the song and drag it to the extreme left of the screen. Then you can use these handles to select your favorite part of the song to make it as a ringtone. Also, make sure that your song doesn't exceed this number 12. As I said earlier, if you exceed this number 12, it's gonna crop your ringtone. So make sure your handle is just up to number 12 or before that. And you can always tap on the song to find more editing options. Now, if you want to take your ringtone to the next level, if you want to make it unique, there is a separate tutorial in the cards as well as in the description below. You can check out that tutorial. Also, you should always drag from the left edge of the screen and make sure that the volume level is set to high. Then drag it to the left and once you're happy with the editing of the song, you need to go ahead and tap on this inverted triangle button. Select my songs. Now here is the song that we just edited. Now watch this carefully guys. Many people get confused at this point in the video. Now here you have two sections browse and recents you need to make sure that you are on the browse section to proceed if you are on recent section like this you need to long press the song and look for share option when you tap on the share option you can go ahead and make ringtone but for the purpose of this tutorial i am going to select browse section and then you need to go ahead and tap on this select button then tap on the my song and then go ahead and tap on this share sheet button on the bottom left corner. Now select ringtone. Now tap on my song and rename your ringtone. That's it. Now hit done button and then hit this export button on the top right corner. It is exporting your ringtone. That's all, ringtone is ready. Now hit this use sound as and select standard ringtone. Let's hit this done button. Now you have made a new ringtone and it is already set as default ringtone. Now when you go to ringtone section in settings on your iPhone, you should see that your new ringtone is already set for incoming calls. And that's how you can make custom ringtone for your iPhone 12 and 12 Pro using GarageBand. If you have any specific questions, ask me down in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.